I want to talk a little bit about motivation. Now, not a day goes by that someone doesn't reach out to me on social media saying, hi, I'm so-and-so, um, I'm overweight, I'm out of shape, um, I've lost my way, I really want some motivation, maybe some words from you would help me get off my ass, I'm stuck. Now, my first reaction would be to write back and give them my brand of motivation, which would be shut the fuck up, stop moaning, stop complaining. If you want to sort yourself out, get off your fucking ass and do it. Look at the state of your melted wheelie bin rig, get in the gym, eat properly, track your calories, whatever. It's not nice and it wouldn't work for them and honestly for most people it would it would be quite cutting now the reason i wouldn't do that is obviously i preach being nice but firstly people don't need motivation people with motivation their their, their feelings of empowerment come and go to be motivated is great but motivation disappears like a fart in the wind you need to develop mental strength and the reason you do that is because you are unsatisfied with what you have you have clear distinct goals that you are sticking to and you get off your ass come what may and that little voice in your head that is always there it doesn't matter if you're a professional sportsman a top athlete you know fucking brain of britain or someone with absolutely no willpower at all you've all got the voice not a day goes by that the voice in my head doesn't say you don't need to train have a fucking donut you love whiskey why don't you have some whiskey why don't you do this why don't you do that but the honest answer is it's the ability to turn that voice off and go, do you know what? I'm gonna dig in and do it because I want to be five or 6% better than I was yesterday. And that's the key. We've all got stuff we wanna improve on, right? We're all unhappy with certain areas of our life. It's called being human. Yes, you need to find some satisfaction, but to be honest with you, I think there's probably a monk halfway up a mountain who's satisfied. The reason he's satisfied, he's probably taking a vow of silence and doesn't fucking talk to anyone. And he's not really in the real world. I'd be satisfied if I wasn't in the real world and was just sipping tea and doing martial arts and shit. I'd be very happy. But for most people, they're, they're looking to want to change things. Trying to get motivation off others is pointless. Inspiration is great. Great. there is always somebody doing what you want to do better than you so you should be inspired you know you can look over your garden fence and see what they're doing and take inspiration but for fuck's sake don't do exactly what they do because you need to tailor it to yourself and having mental strength comes from dealing with a process and a process comes from having clear succinct goals and a plan and how to execute it and I promise you this there is no white knight that's going to ride over the hill and save you and deliver you from the life that you don't want that's going to give you the money that's going to give you whatever you want you're gonna to have to work for it, you're gonna to have to grind for it. And part of the fun and adventure and life in general is actually the grind, because you never get to where you want to be, because you're never completely satisfied, but it's the process of doing it. So avoid trying to be motivated. Instead, have a fucking plan, have a direction, have some goals and execute them. And if you've had a shit life, if you've had bad things happen to you, own that shit and make it your tools and your power to crack on. Use it and harness it, because nobody's gonna take it away, you can't forget about it, and nobody, as I said, going to ride over the hill to save you from it. It's just a really, really good idea. So avoid motivation, avoid people who motivate you because we all watch a fucking movie. We all watch one of these things in Denzel Washington speak and think, fuck me, I can run through a wall. I'm going to take over the world. But what happens when you're cold, you're bored, you're miserable, you don't have any money in the bank, everyone's stressing you out, the fucking dog won't do as you're told. You have to get up, you have to crack on because every day you come back to your, to your goals and your focus and you can break your life down into so many different segments. You know, relationships with friends, relationships uh, in general, how you eat, how you train, how you develop your mind, how you interact, how you hydrate, how you, you look after your body, how you rehab your body, how you medically are, how you mentally are. All of these things can be, can be split up into little segments. And if you're chipping away 1%, 2% better each day, you will get there. And people with motivation fail. People without motivation, but fucking mental strength, they do it, they stay tough, and they absolutely complete what they want to do. Just a little idea for the day.